floss tube. This is Caitlin Stitching Kiwi on Instagram and it is my fourth episode that I am doing. Um, this one might be a bit longer than normal because what I'd also like to do in these to try and encourage me to read a bit more and because I have quite a lot of stitch bookmarks is to sort of give my opinions on a book that I have read in the past month or two in this case. Um, and I think that that will be quite fun to do. Um, so if you've got any recommendations of books that I could read, comment them down below and I'll check them out. See if there's a relatively easy way to get access to them. Um, but other than that, let's get started. So, outside of stitching and uni and studies and work and all that stuff, I do uh, figure skating as well. And that we've got improved. <laughs> all the lockdowns, the, the rinks aren't open, let alone competitions. Um, so one of the last competitions, there was already one competition that was cancelled. And now they've cancelled another one that was supposed to be in a month. Um, just because there's, we might not even be at the right restriction level to have the competition. But we also won't have enough time on the ice beforehand to practice. So here's hoping nationals can still go ahead. Um, and so I have worked really hard this year and it would be really upsetting to not get to try and redeem myself and that um, so yeah other than that I stuff is also starting to trickle in all my orders that I were made over the last month and two month or two um, they're starting to come in, so I've got some of that and a little bit more. But first, let me show a finish that I have done. It's the end of last year. So what this finish is, it was the... I, I don't know the name of it. I've, I've tried to look for the name. If anyone has any ideas of what it was. Um, you can't find it on their website or... Online it was a mystery stitch along, a 2020 second one by Viveco Lenart and that is my flower pot with butterflies and stuff. I, I don't know the name of it. Um, if I do, I do what I have done for my previous finishes and put them somewhere on the screen where they fit. Um, yep, so this is stitched. Um, I had the call for colours because we didn't have codes for it. Uh, it was just one to 50 or something. Um, so the only colours I do know, booting. Butterfly, my favourite butterfly to do was that one. So it started in the middle and that was the butterfly that we did first. Um, and it was the first stitch along that I kept up with pretty much religiously. I think there was only one that got released before I was ready for it. Um, but I loved it, even the back, for those of you that are interested in the back, um, is these. It's pretty neat. Yeah. So uh, there is that one. I love the finish. That will go into my roll of finishes back again. Whip. Works in progress. I I've done a few. Not not more than usual. Um, they're probably about similar. Um, but that truck, I finished my previous lake truck last week. Um, just showed on my floss tube, and I, I did. I'm pretty sure I said that my parents had sent one or two up from their home so I got that and haven't done much I just sort of folded up the bottom and I've just started to go through that so what I have really done is just that little bit there which is very fluffy and then once I get I'll fold over that side 
Um, my last one that I, the last one that was rectangular shaped, not round like my um, giraffes. I folded, I had like, so say this is the end, I folded like all the way out that way and then I had that one also. So it ended up being like four layers of canvas and the wool just doesn't fit through that very well. Um, so note to future self, only do two. So I cut that and I am slowly weaving them in. The only, someone is mowing their lawns outside and it's really loud. I was hoping that finished. Um, the only thing with this is that the colours, it, it doesn't come with a chart, this company. It doesn't see charts with them. Um, and just some of the colours are a bit hard to tell. That is really annoying. Is that construction? Might be construction. It is. Hopefully you guys can't hear it outside. On, on the video um yeah so that is my electric cut new electric work in progress mountain landscape by vivago cross stitch whips um so as you all know i started if, if you saw last week's last trip you know i'd started 25 7 or if you follow me on instagram um but I, this whip is one that I started in 2014, it's what kind of got me back into cross stitch. Um, it's one that I really want to finish. So, it's my Warp Ups by Near North Treasures Collection. And I have it on a small Q-snap just so I can see all the different things, but I did probably close to 400 stitches on it in the last week because um, I do either 25 stitches or 25 minutes whichever is longer um, so yes I have moved it um, with the smaller Q-snap um, it's a little bit easier yeah, it's, it's, it's easy to see the missed stitches, so I've got some missed stitches hidden out throughout. Um, and there, there were some over here, but those have been filled in now. Um, and it's just, it just helps me see where, because if I, if I would show you my pattern, you'd see that it was, <laughs> the markings are all over the place. Um, because I started it before there was such a thing as Pattern Keeper. Yay! Not that it's, it's just it's a physical thing. So I still take together inside outside. <laughs> um so yes, and what I'm not gonna do this week, that I have done for the past previous weeks, is put the stuff away as I do it because I forget to take the pictures and uh, forget to have pictures for comparisons to put up when I'm doing my little edits. So that will stay out of the project week. Um and I still need to do 25-7 today, but that will happen later, so it's only, it's only half an hour max um, till the end of the thread. Okay, my next whip this week is one that I, I pulled out, and I have been really enjoying stitching on it. Um... Is the Our Forest Embroidery Hyperborea? Keeperborea? Um, which so I started in the middle in the hour. I'm not too sure whether to do it as all three together or cut the fabric into thirds and do them separate. Um, but I figure there's no harm in starting in the middle. Um, what I also found is the ring. I, f I, I completely forgot that I bought these last year and I found them as I was doing my um, as I was doing my <laughs> lockdown cleaning. It's all organised, organised my fabric, my threads, everything and I found all of these 
So I put my this tidy this project's threads on one and it fits really small and those are the colours is all the blues. Got a green, an orange, yellowy orange, and a brown, and a red. So those are the colours for this. Um, variegated. Some of the variegation shows really well. Others, it's so long that I work with my normal, my not my normal length of thread, which is already quite long. Um, I maybe get one color change and back again. That and then that's it, and I love it. So this is folded into thirds, um, and it's keeper body. The owl. Um, so where I started, where I had left off, was like no wings, no head, half a tail, <laughs> just that little bit there. Um, so I just had that little bit there and then I worked really hard. I love the little mammoth. Um, or I'm, I'm calling it a mammoth. It might not be a mammoth. Um, needle minder is their kits. Needle minder. One of them. The corresponding one. Um, and so I'm doing it on the fabric that came with it. 32 count Belfast linen in blue spruce. One of my favourites, if not my favourite, the uh, Zweigart um, colour. That in dusty pink, dusty pink. One of those ones, it's a really pretty pink. Um, so that's Deeper Um So yes, there is that one. Um, it's not a very, like each individual thing's not very big and I probably would have got them finished in time but I haven't really worked on it that much but I'm encouraged to work on it more. My final whip is one that I've shown every false tuber lately. It's one that I am encouraged to finish quite a bit. Here is what it was last time. Which you can look at while I adjust the Q-snap. So I can show you it in full. And that is my da -da 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 -da, Snow Splashes Wolf. Yes, I had to move the Q-snap. Um, there's only like the odd the odd stitch that isn't stitched in yet, but it has eyes. He has eyes. Oh. Um, so that was so fun putting that yellow on my crazy cat lady there we go needle minder um, but that is what I've done bit of a love hate relationship with this q step as well that's when I put it back on when I, when I moved it and put the things back on I caught some of my hand in it don't do that, that hurts. Um, so yes, there is that. Um, I feel like it's at the point where you can use it out, so well, there's just lots of different colours, lots of confetti, and I'm getting through it slowly. Those are my four whips this week. Um, probably be those same ones next week and a cryptid. Um, I did work on my cryptid, but it was only just the black frame and nothing that special progress wise on it. Um, but they will be next week. So I will show it then. Okay, my next ones. What I have received in the mail lately. Um, I'm part of, I'm in the Colour and Cotton Floss Club, which I get to justify postage. I get um, primitive, 
bright and all of them I think a mixture um, so yeah all colors um so these are the August pubs because I get things a month later So, we have Castle Garden, which is, that's a bright up, that's a better colour. Um, spiced Cider, Merlot, Merlot, Merlot. So that was in the, in the one. Beautiful red. My sister would love this red. And then we have seahorse. Don't exactly picture seahorses is green, but it's a beautiful green. Quite a nice variegation. Um, Fiesta, bright pink. And Cupid. All together, they, they go together well. Each one goes together well. And then the final ones, spring moss. Ruby. When I when I saw this, I thought it looked like a Dracula. That I've stitched with Dracula, so it must just be slightly brighter. I think Dracula's just a little bit darker. Um, Bumblebee. Abyss. Gorgeous abyss. That was that was definitely my favorite. That came my favorite, without a doubt. And coffee bean. Don't drink coffee, but coffee nonetheless. These ones also go together, so. But they will go in my, with all my colour and cotton threads, which I organise by alphabetical order. Um, just because it, it gets to colours like. Um, Spice Cider, which is this an orange, is this a brown? Um, I wouldn't know, so I do it by alphabetical just to because one day it might look orange, another day it might look brown. So if I organized it in the color, I'd forget I have which ones. Um, yeah, it's a bit easier to see which ones I have. So those are my coloring cottons, all of them beautiful, beautiful colors. And in addition to that, I bought oh, loose thread. I bought a pattern a number of months ago. I bought the accessory pack just a couple of months ago. After after I got in the pattern and like looked at what was needed, I was like, eh, this might be a bit hard, so I got the pack. Um, and then last week the fabric arrived so I typically do things on called for if I can if I can get them um, but yes fabric so this is 28 count raw cashew linen um, a few snubs but other than that barely fine that will be two over two for the most part the accessory pack which a few beads bundles of thread um, which includes Floriana, Krynik, Needlepoint and Mill Hill beads so accessory pack anyone know who it is anyone know what it is yet so I've mentioned I like cats I like cats I like mice I like wolves I like birds uh, the birds will show up eventually um, but this is by Victoria Sampler. I love my cat. So it's 
very very gorgeous it's quite a lot of specialty stitches um, and this will be my project for October I will start it October 1st and work relatively religiously on it for the month you guys can join me stitching anything with cats um, tagging it um, hashtag cattobersell 2021 on Instagram or Facebook or just share it with me um, at the end of the month if there is quite a bit or if there are just more than me I will share it in my first November episode yeah. so I love my cat this will be my one I will try and do as many hours as I can um, see if there's any way that I can um, raise money for a charity that deals with that would work with um, kittens because it is kitten season now here in New Zealand um, the SPCA just gets dumped dumped kill kittens after kittens one lesser after the next so but there are also other smaller um, smaller places in all the major cities so the place is a bit so the charity is to be determined but that is my plan for October um, and amongst my studying I've got only six seven weeks left of studying and I, I can do it I can it's, it's hard online is hard um, had a meeting thing um, last week I kind of organized <laughs> um, and that was very nice to say so Victoria Sampler I love my cat um, how I'll do it I don't know how I will do it <laughs> I don't know in which order I will stitch them I don't know whether I will go top to bottom bottom to top middle out um, might actually go bottom to top actually but yeah a lot of specialty stitches um, it'd just be fun to learn them I had a look at the Royal Network Society website and all their specialty or all the different types of stitches that are used um, I didn't know there were so many but it makes sense because you have one bit of fabric and you can move your needle in so many different ways that I, I don't know how I didn't realize that it was so busy and this is getting quite long so yes those are my plans for October October style oh, cat tober sal 2021 um C -A hashtag c-a-t-o-b-r s-a-l 2021 on to the book for this month it is one that my eyes laid on I, um, I saw the, at one of the shops at the airport um, one time but my bag was full and I, I wouldn't be able to fit it um, just because all I had was like a backpack it was all I had for a weekend um, and then I saw it and I went to the bookshop and it was on special and I got it so it is um, Stephen Conte's The Tolstoy Estate um, so yes I, I do have an interest in Russia um, and I do have an interest in history so that's sort of cool to me <laughs> in a way but it's first of all colour colour cover perfect it did its job it drew me in to reading the blurb um, which I read and I read the book <laughs> um, really good book he, is, he hasn't released very many books at all it's just this and another one which I'm currently reading um, both of them are centred around World War 2 
so if you have any interest in that um it, it's centered around it but it's yeah world war ii uh, yasno boliana so I, I didn't know that that was a hospital um i knew it existed um leo tolstoy Did he do War and Peace? Yes, War and Peace. He wrote War and Peace. Vainai Mir. Yes. Um, so there is this one. Um, it's, 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 it's well read, considering it's one you've been read once, but I keep going back and fourth year I get to one chapter and then go back I was like oh my god did that actually happen um so it's uh, a lot happens in such a small span of time and it's, it's got uh, the general feel of it, it draws you in it does draw you in I mean, it did draw me in if it's, if it's a type of story you like it is on ebook, so if you are a Kindle reader or a, if you don't like paper copies, I, I prefer holding the book. Um, so I would always prefer it over any Kindle. The characters well written, they are believable. Um, as, as upsetting as that is. Um, I just, it did what a good fiction book would do for me. It draws on enough truth that it is believable, but it also allows you to escape a bit of reality. Um, because to me that is, I like a book that is rooted in society, but separated. Um either makes fun of it or it does something like that so I'm never against reading it I'm never against reading things if I take into account the society that it was written in it may be different to mine same with movies set in different times or set in different regions of the world it gives me a, a go online research the stuff and that's what this book did they got me to research some of the stuff and yes no pull down that is somewhere that i would like to go to visit um i didn't go anywhere near there when i was in russia i did see other writers houses one in moscow was a field trip i have to remember where that was which writer it was it was definitely one of the great writers one of the great Russian writers. Um, but Vainaymir, War and Peace is a book that I would like to read. I would love to read it in the original Russian. Um, I read bits and pieces of it in English. But I'd like to read the whole, the whole thing in its original. And that is all for episode four. Lost tube number four. Um, so I'll see you in October for the next one. Feel free to comment any questions. As always, I will answer them in the following one. Um, stitch on something with a cat. Join my stitch along. And yeah, see you all next time. Bye!